got a feeling that Feeney or Bigelow is going to have a career day today. And Feeney, first shot, bingo. Nostradamus over here called that one. <laughs> Tough elements out there today. Courtney McCartan over the middle, Bigelow down low, bingo. Woo! Well, Feeney had the first one. And Courtney McCartan, uh, she does the beating and the assisting. Down low and go. Over the middle again, Feeney score. Catherine Pace, the junior out of Salem High School right here in Salem. She's a heady player. Over the middle, shot put up, Catherine Pace. Score number five. All I have to do is talk about over the middle, down low, and Car Katie Clements adds goal number six. He said the ones in the bag or the ones without the bag, and I, he said Bagless Potatoes. I thought, what a great name for a rock band, the Bagless Potatoes. Okay. <laughs> Bigelow, down low, goal number seven. So Bigelow now has two on the year. All right. So the Maroons scoring at will here. Feeney over the middle. Bigelow make it goal number eight. Unity on offense so far. McCartan. They're just running past the defenders. Wide open. Bigelow score. Goal number nine for the Maroons. McCartan over the middle, top left corner, ring it up. Courtney McCartan gets her name into marquee lights, and it's now 10 to nothing. This is the first one we've had. Well, these officials seem to be letting them play. I think the uh, game yesterday, the officials wanted to control the game, especially in the first half. Yeah, Zelnick puts one right past. And we have some information that her father was in the Red Sox organization for 37 years. And he's a triple-A GM, so wow. Another goal put up there by Allison Beans. Well, I'm sure he's well aware that he's here for the Maroons at the nine-minute mark. Shot, left corner, goal number 13. And it comes from the factory. You would think they would know how to lace it. Yeah, but a lot of players lace their own sticks, right? So, over the top, Allison Bean scores goal number 14 for the Maroons. I know both my McCartan looking over the middle. Right there. Feeney, wide open goal. Claire Feeney, 30 seconds in. And it is now. Defender for Randolph fell down. The ball went off her stick. Zelnick, top yeah. right corner, goal number 16. As you mentioned earlier, Roanoke is just so much quicker to the ball than Randolph, and they're beating their defenders pretty easily one-on-one. -on -one. You know, when the season started, Roanoke was preseason nine. Another goal. Nine by the men, and Lynchburg number two, and we circled that game on the calendar. Bobby's saying you could have it. Katie Clements dropped it wide open, and picking it up is Courtney McCartney. She'll score goal number, goal number 18. And we'll take a break. And goal number 19 for the Maroons. 